Hello everybody, this is Julia here from Julia Sunday Dinners, and I'm going to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart. This week's topic is about our culinary influences, and the best culinary influences come when you're a kid. I believe that everyone should have the opportunity to be in a kitchen as a kid. Um, preferably with your parents when you're younger um, and then give them the chance to you know do stuff by yourself with a little bit of supervision for a while and then you know go off on your own to, to make stuff but I believe that it does so much more than just teach somebody how to cook um, because it helps with your with self-esteem, with creativity, with with um, ego, with confidence. It helps with all different kinds of stuff. Plus, it's just fun and it's a good bonding time. My niece, one of my nieces, who's four years old, came ho um, was on the phone with my mom. Um, when my brother calls every once in a while, he'll put, you know, put my niece on the phone, and she'll say something and say, you know, have a good night. My niece is four years old. Um, if I said that already, I think I did. But anyway, um, and they were making humantashen. Her and her mom were making humantashen, which are a, a pastry that is mostly made for Purim, for the Jewish holiday of Purim. It symbolizes the hats, the three-point hats that were worn at that time. And so it's a pastry with filling and everything, with um, fruit filling. They're pretty good. But anyway, he, um, anyway... She said to my mom, she was like, I made humantasha with my mommy. Now, that was, if that's all she gets out of it, then wonderful. I don't care if she knows how to cook. I don't care if you'd be able to throw her in the kitchen and say, make humantasha for me. I could care less. The fact that she's spending time with her mom, learning skills, not, you know, social skills and, and cooking skills is great. And being able to be in the kitchen is wonderful. Um, I learned how to cook by helping my dad out when I was younger. Um, when he used to cook it was all all the gourmet stuff and he would cook stuff like chicken tetraziti actually it was turkey tetraziti for him but um you know that kind of stuff and he would he would always make a caesar salad with it and i would help with the the lettuce um when i was three i was in the kitchen helping dry lettuce for helping wash and dry lettuce for salads I mean that's an invaluable experience and I got to spend time with my dad uh, helping him out and learning how to do stuff I graduated from that to all different kinds of stuff um, I graduated to helping out with other stuff then I started to learn how to cook breakfast stuff now, I, I started cooking, we had this cookbook of microwave cooking. If, have you ever had eggs cooked in the microwave? Yeah, it was painful, but it was worth it. I mean, my parents let me do it, let me make a mess if I needed to, um, and I loved it, and... I graduated to macaroni and cheese. Um, actually, when I was younger, I had a um, I had a full menu of breakfast stuff that I would cook for people. I loved that. Um, 
but I graduated to macaroni and cheese, and that's where I got creative. I mean, I used to take um, cans of minced clams and throw them in and use the clam juice instead of milk. Eh, that's some good stuff. I just made that a couple weeks ago. Really good. Um, allowing your kids in the kitchen is invaluable to them. It's something that everybody needs to do. I mean, a lot of people look at it and say, oh, well, you know, it's it's too much work and it takes five times the effort and, and five times the time to cook. Yeah, so don't do it on a weeknight when you have to work or when they have school the next day. Don't, don't do it when you need you have a time crunch. If you need to get something out in half an hour, don't, don't, don't bring your kid into the kitchen. But if you need, but if it's a weekend, it's slow, you can really slow down and relax and be in the kitchen with your kids for an hour, hour and a half, cooking something that should only take 20 minutes. It's worth it. I still remember the stuff I did when I was three years old in the kitchen. It's a memory that I will have for the rest of my life. And it's something that I will cherish because it got me started and got me interested in staying in the kitchen. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that it will advocate, you know, people cooking and everything. But it's important. It's a skill. It's a life skill that people need to have. Because I know way too many people who left home who have absolutely no idea how to cook. They go out and eat all the time. They throw stuff in a microwave. They burn Cheerios. You know, how can you be 30 years old and more and not know how to cook. You look in a recipe book and say, oh, I can cook this recipe. If you following a recipe is not cooking, following a recipe is like putting together a bike for your kid. It's like you you figured out by looking at the instructions how to put together the bike. But if you were given all those parts or given different parts you, you can't put together a bike it's the same idea you have to learn the, the the techniques you have to learn that kind of stuff to learn how to cook learn how to be creative and having kids in the kitchen instills that creativity too it it a lot for me Specifically, I was not creative. I, I, yeah, I did draw a bit. I had my own little comic strip that I drew, but I never was too artsy crafty that way. My palette was the plate or the bowl or, or just cooking. My medium was food. So that's where I threw all my creativity. And I love doing it. And you know, that's something that I really respect about my parents. They allowed all of us in the kitchen. Some parents don't do that. Some parents are like, oh my god, they're going to make such a mess. Oh my god, I can't let them in my beautiful kitchen. Clean up after the mess. They're your kids. Okay? They're not going to clean up after themselves in the kitchen. Alright? So, don't be scared by it. Don't be intimidated by it. It's very important. It instills loads of life skills. And that is my biggest influence, is getting in the kitchen when I was younger. Everyone else has their own influences. Hell, some people have the influences from when they were older. Whatever. It's an influence. You know? Whatever your influence is, take it and learn to cook with it.